Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you very well may know, in 5.0, Genshin dropped a new gadget called the Artifact Transmuter, which lets you turn Sanctifying Elixir into custom artifacts. They cost up to 4 elixirs, and since I want to sands, I'll need 2 elixirs. You can only extract 1 elixir per patch, so in order to get the second one, I'll need to do some exploring. You see, in Notland, there are 3 treasure troves, which correspond to a specific tribe. In order to unlock these treasure troves, you need a specific color obsidian ring. Now here's the kicker. These rings have to be crafted from colored obsidian fragments, and the only way to get these fragments is by finding them in random rare chests in Notland. So in order for me to get my last elixir, I need to open every single precious and luxurious chest until I find three of the same colored fragments. Now before I start, I just want to warn you that I won't show off every chest because some of them have already been unlocked when I was gathering Pyroculus in my last video. I'm stuck, wait, where am I, am I, how am I lost in a cave? There's like one way, in or out. If you have enough money, I'm anything. According to the map, it should be getting close. They're harassing women. Stop them. Quick, drop a boulder on their heads. You see, I think that's a reasonable reaction, right? Well, they didn't put up much of a fight. Well, I did drop a boulder on top of their head. You're early. Looking forward to your gift? Yes, please. I'd like 1,600 Primo Gems, at least. Hello there. I see that you're eating, but I need to interrupt you so I can possess you. It's nothing personal, it's just purely for my own convenience. Uh, camera here, some props, you think it's a film set? Maybe it's a time lapse and we're messing it up. Oh no, it's a film student, get away, they're so pretentious and annoying. Yeah, I, I gotta be honest, I ain't reading all that. No thank you sir, I have other such matters to attend to. Like jumping off this cliff! He named the Tepetlosaur Yengu, it's up at the top of the cliff. Oh, guys. Bad news, everybody. I think I found Yengu. He's dead. Come down quick. Here. He made us climb a cliff for no reason. What an odd... Well, why did I have to climb up the stupid Yengu. mountain? Word of mouth isn't always reliable. As but the words inscribed oh, I see. She said the, the word of mouth isn't reliable. So we this isn't so much twisted. gift as it is me agreeing to be an advertisement. I'm basically giving her free advertisement across the it's world. The perfect gift. You do look like you have some savings to spare. I'll trade you one Paimon for your entire stock, please. This whole quest line was just a giant ad. Chevin's like, Hello the Traveler, I'd like to talk to you about Rage Shadow Legends. I actually feel like I was just sentenced to watching a five minute ad. I'm left with two obsidian of each color from the chest I've already gathered in the Pyroculus video. It was at this point where I explained exactly what I'm planning to get from the elixirs. I'm not even gonna roll like percentage defense, it's gonna be flat defense, but... At the very least, I can get Arlecchino one artifact closer to her main set. I only did like 10 runs of her artifact domain, and the pieces I got from her artifact set are better than my gladiator pieces. Double crit stat with one dead roll, and then literally like a perfect piece. I don't even think it rolled into flat attack. Respectfully, where do I get that luck? What piece do I need? Circlet and sands, but I'm going for a sands because it's the cheapest one. Am I pulling for Ben 10? Ah, uh, nah. Because his character isn't interesting enough, and he's a guy. So I almost pulled for Mulani because her character was kind of cool. But then I tried her out in like the uh, the trial event, and she feels really awful to play. Like her shark kept missing every time I used it, and it felt horrible. Mm, aha! Sorry, sir, but I need your body for science. Die by my blade. I thought these chests were going to be way more hey! secret. Oopsies. So we got the precious chest. There we go. Oh, it still didn't give me what I needed. Okay, fine. I guess I'm going to do this the long and arduous way. What in the world is a Montu? Oh, this is a Montu. Run, boy, run. I need your body. It's for science. It's for science. You got to chill out. Not glazing, but your stream is pretty chill. Love it. Explosion. I'm going to run out of pins soon, actually. Unimpressive bounty. What are my thoughts on Matlin? Uh, I think overall, I don't think I've had 
any complaints about it. I definitely think Notlin is so far the best region out of all of them. Fontaine was definitely a huge banger of a story. I feel like Notlin has done a pretty good job of being interesting after such an uh, insane story. Personally, Liyue will always be my favorite region and Monsai will be like a close will be kind of lumped in with that since it was the start of the game i think they just delivered experiences that it's hard to recreate but realistically in terms of quality you know they don't match up to the later regions so notlin has been incredible in terms of exploration the exploration has been really nice and fun the world is gorgeous like this is i think i really like this i don't know what it is but like i really like the geography of this map and then i i have music turned off right now because i have my own playlist playing but Notlin's music has been the best. I haven't heard a single OST in Notlin that I have disliked. All right, did that give it to me? No, it didn't give it to me. Ick, ick I say. There's, there's a reason to be scared of snakes. It's not like an irrational fear, it's definitely a justified fear. This is my process for creating a new map. I got the fragment? Wait, did I? Oh, I did. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I still want to create the map, so let me do that. Cut off the very leftmost and bottommost one. Paste this into paint. There we go. I can mark off the ones that I have that are on the map. And then this way, I can remove the pins from the map. This is what I do with all the Oculus in regions. I just never usually do this with chests. Cool. Oops. All right, I gotta save this. Okay, let's save this on a different screen so I don't accidentally bring anything up. Right now I'm removing all the pins on the map that correspond to chests and marking them off on the map I just created. Doing this frees up more pin space for other things, but it also lets me be 100% certain of which chest I collected and when. The interactive map is a lot more detailed, so it's a better tool to use. I didn't think of this until halfway through, so there are still a couple chests that I can't be certain of, and for future areas, I'm gonna create these maps beforehand so I can be way more organized. If you wanna see future exploration videos like this, be sure to subscribe and comment so I know that you're interested. Not very good not very good not uh, i'd roll that one terrible oh that's really good sounds bad sounds bad bad that's bad that's bad i'd probably roll that one bad bad i got this one a long time ago and it's really good pretty bad i'd roll that one bad bad and bad i remember i looked up the calculation for cv and i was like wait this is way too much work i don't care <laughs> what i really care about is the sanctifying elixir let's go ahead and make this so we want fragment of harmonic whimsy we want an attack percentage sans with double crit please the best thing that could happen is this turns out to be a force substat artifact that also gets me energy recharge and then em would be the best let's see what it gives me oh Oh, it's tragic. Oh, it's tragic. Oh, it's about as awful as I said it was gonna be. Oh Lord. I mean, this is almost as bad as an artifact could be in this instance. Let's see how badly this one rolls. If I can get 6%, actually, is the pieces already better? <laughs> no matter what happens to this artifact, it is still better than the one she has equipped. Doesn't mean it's gonna be good though. I equipped this set because this finally puts her on set, which I've been waiting to do for a long time. And I hope that this will give me like two rolls into crit damage. If I could get one roll into crit rate and one in and two into crit damage, it'd be nice. I'm just hoping it only rolls once into defense because it's going to roll into defense. There's no way around that. I'm just hoping it only rolls a once into defense is the hope. Oh, okay. ER is literally the best tertiary subset I could get. So that's nice. Okay, we got a roll in the crit rate. All right, two good rolls already. Three good rolls already. I actually just used all my, Jesus Christ. Okay, I was not expecting that at all, but I just, I didn't dead roll once. I rolled once into ER and four times into crit rate. That is pretty crazy. Holy, jeez. That's pretty nasty. And I get her attack up to 2600. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, okay, I gotta go. We gotta go try out Arlequino's damage, I guess. This is where I reveal the only reason I started streaming today was so I could get streamer luck. That's the only reason. I didn't care about anything else. Where's Masanori? Let's go beat up Masanori. Oh, Masanori! It's been too long, big boy. Let's see how much Masanori gets messed up. Skill. Okay, I'm seeing 145,000. 
I saw 145,000 normal attack. That's glorious. That's beautiful. Oh, that made me... <laughs> this is a... <laughs> oh my god, that's like a flashback to the last time I tested my Huta damage. And I got her from like 70,000 vape crit to 80,000. I was super excited. That's nothing compared to what I just did. I took a quick break from chest collection after testing out my new Arlecchino and spent the time talking about how good her constellations are. Same, to be honest, since you're going for C1. C1 is awesome oh no that's c2 oh sorry never mind c1's great <laughs> c1 is awesome but her c2 is what makes her like insane for me c2 is the biggest buff you can get her like i i could not imagine playing her where you have to wait for her talents to like ramp up how long is it because it's a long time right five seconds after direct is applied it'll be upgraded to blood dead dude yeah dude that's crazy that's crazy i could not i could not do that I think if I didn't have Arlequino at C2, I don't think I'd like playing her as much, to be honest. The quality of life having no downtime for her gives me is unmatched. I wasn't fully satisfied with the damage test on Masanori, so I decided to fight the Wanderer. The team consists of Arlequino for the damage showcase, obviously, Mona for the bubble trigger and the vape, Kazuha for the shred and animo damage bonus, and lastly, Bennett for the pyro resonance and the noblesse trigger. All right, well, 10 minutes of waiting for him to attack me so I can hit him back. So we, we Arlequino skill, Bennett ult, Kazuha swirl, Mona ult, then uh, Arlequino auto attacks. Skill, uh, ult, swirl, ult. He's almost dead, that's crazy. Mona, and then auto attack. Oh my god. Okay, honestly, I wasn't even looking at a damage number. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's me again. Just wanted to let you know that there are two sections left to the video. First is the rest of the chest collection and exploration stuff, and the second is some abyss clears and bounty stuff. During the stream, this video comes from, I actually did the abyss first and exploration stuff second, but I thought it made more sense in the video to swap it around and create a bit of a story. There were some bits that I thought were really funny and worth including, so I decided to keep them in, just putting them at the end. I'll put timestamps in the description if you want to skip around the sections and whatnot, but that's pretty Pretty much it. Let me know if you've been uh, let me know if you've been enjoying the style of video. I always love hearing from all of you. Come on, buddy, you gotta go. There you go. Let's get you home, shall we? Let's get you home. And then I gotta figure out where the last of you <laughs> the last of us. Ha <laughs> ha sorry. Thank you for your teeth. I'm a dentist and I collect them. Actually I'm the tooth fairy. I'm Dwayne The Rock Johnson in his exquisite role as Tooth Fairy. Ah, I assume if I get rid of all of you and your children, I shall be rewarded with what I want. Come and get me, I killed all your kids. I'll get you back for what you did to Fischl. I got mad skills. I'm the chest collector. I don't know if I'm crazy. Oh, are you serious? No way, I hit that? Oh, and I was mad about hitting it, so I missed the rest. Oh, I think I missed that one. Come on. I didn't get it. That one mess up that led me to messing up the other one really got to me, huh? I keep looking over at the UI to make sure I didn't miss something and then I missed something because of that. That's why you never look at your phone when driving. Did I seriously get a B again? No, I got an A. Okay, thank God. You have a, you have a tiny bit of wiggle room. How do I get this little fishy fella over here? Everything in the game can be gotten with what they give you for free, and now I'm annoyed because this wasn't the right spirit way. Am I overcomplicating this? Could I just walk to it? I could totally glide to that. Oh yeah, I could totally glide that. I don't know why I thought I had to get use the Colosaur. That was not hard at all. I don't know why I made it so much harder than it had to be. Right. Make it. I'm not gonna make it, am I? Can I make the water? I didn't make the water. Boop, boop. This is like Orca playing with seals. Boop, boop, punk. There we go. Easy precious chest. <laughs> Wait, I can still knock them around places. From perspective, I guess, have you ever thought that the life that People Springs lead is too laid back? He's like, back in my day, people were strong. Nowadays, everyone's too weak, too soft, too babied. I have to get 120 particles, my goodness. Wait, what do you mean I have to get 120? That is not possible. If this, if I, if, if I get to the end, it's like you have collected 119, I'm going to be furious. Hold on. Okay, I missed quite a few there. 
Okay, no, it didn't. It didn't do that, thank God. There's the chest. Come here, little fishy. I need your body. Okay. Well, that one was actually not that. It wasn't even that hard to get. Did I get what I needed? I did. All right, I think I know what to do here. How about this? Watch this. I gotta stab people in the face. What's my hobby? Um, I think my biggest hobby right now is YouTube. And then secondary, I like to read. I'm not reading as much as I want to be because there's a point in time I would read like 11, 12 hours a day. And I just don't read like that anymore. I don't really buy books anymore. One of my favorite book series, sorry, 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 but I have to jump in here. At the time I wasn't thinking too hard, but I really, 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 really like books. Like I can't stress how much of a nerd I used to be about them. I was editing this and I wanted to look up the names of a couple books I forgot. And then I spent two hours writing a list of books I really liked. Books were my everything as a kid and I didn't feel right not including a better list than just the ones I set on stream. I really liked the Jurassic Park series. I read the books, I read Game of Thrones. I read the Shannara Chronicles I really liked. I read a bit of the Lord of the Rings. I didn't read the full thing. I read the Narnia, the Chronicles of Narnia. I read the books. And then my, like my, probably one of my all time favorite series of books was the Aragon series. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I missed a thing. God damn it. I just don't own a big book collection anymore because it's expensive. Uh, how was Game of Thrones? I think I haven't read the last two books because they weren't out when I last read the series, but it's definitely a book series for heavy readers. Bran felt more interesting in the books than the show. What book's my favorite? Brzinger from the Aragon series is one of my, is probably up there as one of my favorites. Uh, the Sword of Shannara was pretty good as well, but there was this book about Lego Bionicles called The Raid on Volcanus, which was one of my favorite books ever. I really liked that book. It was super good. There's a book series called The Fire Within that I really, really liked as well. Oh, you know what? One of my favorite, like, one one-off books is called a confusion of princes and it's by garth nix and it's really really good that that is one of my favorite books ever it's really 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 good i liked the warrior series that's kind of childish though yeah it was a it was called pillage by obert sky and it was kind of it was kind of a childish book as well but i read it when i was really young and it was super good there was a trilogy I never actually read the other ones. I should go back and read those. Maximum Ride. I really liked Maximum Ride. I also read the Mortal Instruments books, and I thought the books were really good, but I thought that the movie or the show was pretty bad. There's just too many. I could go on about books I've read, like, way too much. I can't ever narrow it down. I also really liked The Hunger Games, because I, I read the books when they came out. It's, like, long before the show, like, long before the movies got made. And the movie sucked. The books were really good. Obviously, how can I even forget? Sorry, but the Harry, po I, the original like Harry Potter was awesome, and Percy Jackson like that was my stuff as a kid. The Percy Jackson books were awesome, and then the Kane Chronicles, also by Rick Riordan, were good. I never read his newest books. There's a book that I got for Christmas, I think, called Code Breaker or something. I got a book about like, like a Japanese. Uh, samurai that got like outcast. So that's pretty good. Come on, count it. Okay, so this chest would appear to be something that's time gated. Oh, hey, look, there is a free chest up there. Let's go and grab that. It's it is. It's just sitting here, right here for the taking, and I never picked it up. Uh, is my real name DJ Pumpkin Seed? No, so the reason he called me that was because my original name on YouTube was DJ Pumpkin Seeds, but I changed it because there's an actual DJ who uses the name DJ Pumpkin Seeds, so I changed it to what my name is currently. Yeah, Pumba! My boy. That's my boy. Are you serious? So this dude lost his job, lost all his money because he was a con man. Then he got sick. And then the only thing he has is this Yumkasaur. He stole the chest and then have the Yumkasaur guard the chest because he knew that's a way for the Yumkasaur to get fed. He's going to make sure that the Yumkasaur doesn't go hungry. There we go. Yeah. The Yumkasaur is chilling. It's not going to go hungry. That's all I can. That's all I really care about. 
I think all I have to do is make sure these people get back to their their spot. Get in there. Okay. This is a precious chest. Hello there, buddy. There we go. There we go. And that is all of them. That is the luxurious chest. I still need to find some of this stuff here. Oh, my skill missed. Now I don't have any damage. Can I knock him into the water? I don't... It, no. He died before that. Okay, so in order to get all the chests, I have to score 7,000 points. I think I can only afford to miss one of the things. There we go. Easy. One tap to that. Yep, two chests here. What greater pleasure is there than the... Hey, look, they respawned. Would you guys like to die again? Oh, that hurt. That was slightly more painful than I had anticipated. Gotta take great care not to fall directly into lava. Huh. Oh, made that. Come on, Kachina. I need to use you to loot and plunder. Ah, look at that. Free chest. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but I need to charge my ult so I can heal. Thank you. That was a worthy sacrifice, I think. Come on, please let me get stuff for free without having to work for it. Hello, little kid. Oh, knock him off. Knock him off. Okay, they kind of hurt. Wait, I didn't... I didn't read it. What am I supposed to do? I was supposed to come loot this chest is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, no, I don't think I've gone this one. Oh, yeah, I have. It was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, I definitely did get this chest already then. Oh. Oi. I have a thousand HP. What? I hit a... Must have hit an explosion. I need you because I need to restore my HP. And to do that, I need my ultimate. Thank you. Oh, look at that full heal. Absolutely gorgeous. Where I'm from, we call... Oh, I got I got my last chest as well. Sick. I got the last of the obsidian fragments. No, I definitely got this chest already. And I did not mark it off. So I just wasted like 15 minutes for chest I already obtained. So that's awesome. Well, that's not the chest I wanted, but it's a chest. How do I hit those barrels without dying? I know the answer is we sacrifice somebody. So bonk. Oh, she didn't die. Okay. So that's one of them. Really? You couldn't, you couldn't make it down from there all by your lonesome? Come on, little buddy. You can make it. Get those stubby little legs working. All right, three for three. Count it. Boom. Easy clap. An impressive bounty. There we go. Don't know where I got that, but I got it, so. What greater pleasure is there than the unexpected? He's sitting on his ball. Oh, I did. I found all of them. Cool. Okay. I should probably... If I was a better person, I'd, I'd uh, give this chest a description on the interactive map. But I don't know how to do that. And also, I'm lazy, so I'm not going to do it. I jumped up and he uppercut me. So I'm going to assume... That I've already gotten this chest. Uh, I'll mark it off. Skibbity Riz. And then they leave. Okay. Well, you know what? It's moments like this that I think to myself, maybe I am out of touch with the younger generation. This one. This one. This one. This one? Would you look at that? I'm a genius. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. There are seven precious slash luxurious, luxurious chests left on this map. One of them is time gated, so I can't get it today. Accessible during world quest in the footsteps of the chosen dragons. This is a quest I have not done yet. Is it, It's free if I beat you. I just now realized they have like a little gauge above them that's rainbow colored. I wonder what that means. That means he's gay. Is it not going to let me jump up this? Uh, of course it's not. 
Brother. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Hate on the people that want to do it the old-fashioned way, then. I don't see a cave. I see a cave now. All right, let's Excuse me, everybody. I just want the free stuff. I don't really care about you. Oh, I gotta lead this one to him first, don't I? And then he's gonna be brave enough to come back. Yep. Hey, and there's a third one. Oh, no, I fell before I could tell them it's safe to jump. It's always safe to jump off high things, by the way. Okay, maybe back up here. Oh, wow. It was right here the entire time. That's crazy. Man, sometimes I'm just too stupid for my own good. Oh, they're actually gonna just become the cave painting. Okay. There we go. And then I get my free chests. Something with which to commemorate. I guess they're not free, really. I did have to work for them. Defeat the four Soraform tribal warriors to unlock. Yeah, I did this one. So there's four chests left that I can unlock right now. The fifth chest can only be unlocked after time. Oh, actually, I did this chest already. Okay. This chest has already been unlocked, so this one's good. In order to get the chests that are inside it, I have to defeat eight Night Soul Warriors in one minute. The question is, do I think I can do it solo with Arlecchino? Yeah, they're not that bad. Oh, unless I get... If I get ticked by their elemental stuff, then... Okay, you know what? I might need a real team. Oh my god. My game keeps freezing as well. Okay, I'm gonna need a real team. This reminds me of... My computer freezing. I, oh my god, seriously? Calm down, game. In Dragon Spine, there was a time trial for a chest. Where you had to defeat three Abyss Mages within like a minute and I couldn't do it. It was like a huge DPS check and I couldn't do it. But great. Oh, that one didn't give me much at all. Okay. Looking good. And the only other chest I have left is the luxurious chest that is, uh, I think, locked by day. I just spit on my mic. That's disgusting. Well, hello, my beautiful. Whoa, there we go. Look at all these shiny rocks. I still... Okay, so I just went through and I fully cleared out every single luxurious and precious chest. I've done a good amount of exquisites, but I haven't done every single one. That means there's still uh, 20, 120, 140 exquisite slash common chests left to clear. So there's every single chest done, except this chest I'm not 100% certain I did, and then this chest. Only four? So one Crow Gunner, one Pyro Slinger, Anobushi and a Kairagi, Kai, Kairagi. Have to a Magu Kenki, okay. Well, I don't love the sound of that. Ah, the Yumkasaur and a PMA. Casual PMA. Okay. This is probably going to be a bit of a rough abyss. I mean, floor 9 through 11 doesn't really matter. What are we going to kill kids with? That's the real question. Wow, I kind of forgot just how easy floor 9 is. That was... I barely even got to use all my skills. Absorption test. Wait, so they really nerfed the floor nine because that was literally just one ruin guardian. That wasn't. You could probably you could probably solo that with Chi Chi. I didn't even get to use the full rotation. Wow, floor ten is so easy. I'm actually able to use Eula effectively. Well, Eula, as always. Felt a bit underwhelming. All right, Aloy. You're stuck now. Aloy, you're very, you didn't do anything. Got for you. Come on, Aloy, get a kill. Nah, she's not gonna do it. These floors don't matter in the slightest. I say and then imagine I fail it. Oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't reach on her. Uh oh. Okay. I got a little bit dicey. Okay, this team was a bad idea. It is not good. Karina, stop hurting me. Wait, hear me. 
Come on. Oh, okay. I can still clear this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't even need Ayaka. Yeah, see, I don't even need Ayaka in that team. Aloy's the real carry. I did my skills really badly. I'm a bit rusty. You had. Oh god, I'm very rusty. This is ugly. My god, what is hurting me so bad? What just happened? Okay. Yikes. 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 There we go. Much, much better. Much better round two. Don't even need to use the Elan. I'll naturally bait this guy. Yeet. Last enemy is Jatrum. Yes, sir. You already know it. Bad hit to take there. Okay. Not as quick as I would have liked, but not too bad. There's that. Ah, oh, the Kenki and his lovely time-wasting animations. Don't we all love the Magu Kenki? See, look, he's invulnerable again because he's doing his jump attack. And then when he recovers, it takes a second for him to be able to be hit again. Yeah, that's not even that bad. It was just... It's just annoying that it got so close. This is probably going to be the hardest floor. Ooh, normal and charge attack damage. That's good for both Hu Tao and Arlequino. Ah, so this is probably going to be a floor. I'm going to have to take a couple tries. So just swap back, finish it off. Okay, minute and 59 seconds left to do a PMA. Should be attainable. Got a massive amount of damage on it before it's a uh, deconstruct phase. Yeah, you know what? I don't know what I was worried about. I forgot. I forgot I have Arlequina. It doesn't matter. That's actually one of the easiest abyss I've had in a long time. I assume that they made the Pono abyss a lot easier because it's like the starting abyss. Actually, before we claim this, 25,622. Ooh, 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 ooh. Looking good. You think Yolan can still solo Let's this thing? Her. Let's try it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if she's going to be able to do it. Why am I burning? Okay. I don't know. I think I'm just going to use a real team to fight this. Spread some fire on him and let's burn him. Whoa, what? I just got... Hold on a second. What just happened to me? I... Did I not shield with Zhang Li? Why did my Ganyu get one shot? Wait, okay. Okay, I need to What? What's going on here? Okay, now I'm now I'm confused and I feel stupid, so I'm angry. When they're outside a dual zone, they will take damage every second. Oh. That would be what it is. Okay. I'm clearly not is this not a dual zone? I'm in the dual zone. Okay, we're fine. Oh, shit. I'm, I don't think I'm in the zone anymore. Where is the zone? Is this... Okay, this is a zone again. No, it's not. It's not a zone. Why is it green if it's not a zone? Okay, that's actually infuriating. I'm having more trouble with this stupid bounty than I did with the entirety of the abyss. If I fail this bounty one more time, I'm going to be livid. Okay, the overloading, constantly shifting the circle was not the greatest plan. So far, it's good. Okay, I'm outside the zone again, or what? Okay, that was just probably the hardest bounty I've ever had to fight in my entire life. That was horrible. And vulnerable to Geo, but takes more pyro damage. That's what we like to hear. All right, sick. Nice, easy bounty. All I have to do is fight this guy. No stupid gimmicks. No water combat. No dual zones. Just straight up right click enemy and it's already dead. Okay. Well, I, didn't get, I didn't really get my fills worth out of that. Let me hit you to make up for that. 
Oh, you didn't. You died pretty easily as well. Hey, it's me again. Sorry you have to hear my voice so much. It's kind of integral to my video. So that marks the end of the video and the rare chest exploration. I still plan on 100%ing Notland before the next expansion. So if you want to see that turn into a video, let me know. But anyways, that's it. That's all I got for you. As always, thank you for your time and have a wonderful day. That won't ever change. Yeah, sometimes I'm mad, sometimes I'm okay. Yeah, I know I'll have what I want someday. I need my space now, so I can.